Okay. I'm doing the last rebuttal. Um, I wanted to talk about what Kayla said earlier. She said the California deficit is low. Obviously, we can't argue that. It is what it is. And they're cutting from law enforcement. When you cut from law enforcement, crime goes up. We've proven that 18% nationwide. Um, in California, it's a real problem. But yet, the negative side hasn't really shown any evidence at all that California is in a deficit. We cut from law enforcement because from law enforcement, crime goes up. So there is no argument about that. And like Jason said in his cross-examination, any money, any money is better than none. So I wanted to talk about Keatland's solvency. She said life without parole is the best alternative. It is the best alternative. We save millions of dollars. And I know that Austin just spoke about we don't really know how much, and it's not that much even though it's only 13 people. But the state spends $117 million a year on capital punishment for 13 people that I don't even think are alive anymore. So we're spending $117 million. <laughs> like, why would we spend that much money for people that aren't even alive? It doesn't even make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other part was, oh, we haven't had um, a death penalty in a decade. But if I'm not mistaken, Tookie Williams was on death penalty. And we all know him for being the notorious correct in California. Jason was talking about innocent people can't be executed because they do DNA testing, but Keelan already said that we don't even have enough money to do the DNA testing. And yes, 13 people, most likely, like Tucky Williams, he was a horrible person, killed, if he had a mass murder of three people in a uh, store, yeah, you know what, people like that, they need to be punished, but when you're spending $117 million a year on people that aren't even alive, that doesn't even seem probable or logical whatsoever. So our solvency is basically give, give people life without parole. It punishes them. It's going to save us millions so people can do their job. And unfortunately, the person at Alameda that, uh, that drowned because police officers and fire department couldn't do their jobs, they're, they're liable for lawsuits because they can't even be retrained or paid to be retrained in the state of California. And I know that Jason was saying that Oh, they didn't, that Caitlin wasn't talking about California, she was talking about New Jersey, but no, in her sub-point she was talking about Oakland, I wanted to clarify that. And in Austin's disadvantage, he was talking about <coughs> murders and rapists will continue unless there's no deterrence, but he failed to show the deterrence. He didn't say the death penalty was deterrence, so that means a cop could just go up to him, or maybe he has to go to every door like most sexual offenders in California do. You have to go to each door around your neighborhood and speak like, oh, I'm a sexual offender, even if you peed in a park and got caught. You know, that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's a deterrence, but that doesn't mean that you're talking about the death penalty. The disadvantages don't weigh anything. There really isn't a big disadvantage. Oh, the French Revolution is going to happen because the death penalty is abolished? I really doubt that. So, if you want to save money, and you want to make sure that there is no accidents, and you want to save $117 million on people that aren't even alive anymore, then you follow with what the affirmative said, and get rid of the death penalty. Give a round of applause.